सम न्यू स्टोरीज फॉर यू फ्रॉम सोमाली लैंड हॉर्न ऑफ अफ्रीका एंड रशिया यूक्रेन कॉन्फ्लिक्ट पीपल से साजिद यू नॉट कवरिंग दिस कॉन्फ्लिक्ट आई एम कवरिंग इट आई एल अपडेट यू वंस देर आर मेजर चेंजेस इन द बैटल फील्ड सिचुएशन फर्स्टली स्माई लैंड प्रेजिडेंट इज विजिटिंग द यू एस एंड हिज एजेंडा मेन एजेंडा इज दैट ही वॉन्ट्स द कंट्री self declared country to be recognized by the us how is us response to this visit of my land's president secondly uh, an alarming report has been shared by us aid and other aid agencies around 20 million people in the horn of africa in coming days could be in dire need of humanitarian assistance in ethiopia Somalia and Kenya are these three countries prepared are they tackling this crisis on emergency basis then we would so uh, Ukraine Russia conflict uh, Russia has seized hundreds of uh, airplanes of western companies while western countries US are imposing sanctions on Russia now tit for tat Russia is reciprocating uh then we would uh, Russian drones are breaching NATO airspace uh, in at least two countries Russian drones have entered uh, and a drone was shot down uh today a drone reportedly entered Poland Poland is part of uh, NATO viewers then lastly uh, we know that uh, russia is uh, requesting uh, help from china military assistance as well and we know that us is trying to stop china from supporting russia we have an update in this regard uh, it is being claimed that china could support russia Firstly, we have Somali land. Its president uh, Musi Bhai Abdi's visit of the U.S. is under discussion. It is being discussed in the Horn of Africa. Will the U.S. recognize Somali land as a country or not? Self-declared country. Musi Bhai Abdi was invited by Heritage Foundation. uh there he delivered a speech at the headquarter of this uh, foundation and he called for recognition of the country he said no a possibility of any union with somalia talks on union have failed that is why the world must recognize my land as a country uh president of heritage foundation kevin roberts also backed the call for recognition of somali land but how is us government responding to this call of uh, musi bhai abdi uh officially us has said that it will engage with somali land within the framework of one somalia policy so the statement has been issued by uh state department africa chapter state department says that it welcomes uh, engagement with uh, somalia land but the engagement will continue within the framework of one somalia policy so officially us has made it clear it is not going to recognize my land as a country but we have heard some calls uh, in support of uh, my land in the us jim rish is a senator uh, ranking member of senate's foreign affairs committee and he is urging the us government that it should engage my land beyond this framework of one somalia policy uh so there are some uh, lawmakers congressmen who are supporting my land in the us but uh, us has officially made it clear it won't recognize somali land as a country secondly words uh, an alarming report on the horn of africa food crisis is going to worsen in coming weeks and months us aid and other aid agencies have released a statement a report they say 
around 20 million people in Ethiopia, Somalia and Kenya will be in need of food aid in coming months. 10 to 15 million people in Ethiopia, 2.5 to 5 million people in Somalia, 2.5 to 5 million people in Kenya, around 2 million, around uh, uh, 20 million to 25 million people in Ethiopia, Somalia, Kenya will need food aid due to conflicts, armed conflicts, drought, climate change and uh, other uh, issues. Uh, are these three countries, Ethiopia, Somalia, Kenya, fully prepared to take on this crisis? Uh, in Ethiopia, we know that armed conflict in Tigray is far from over. Uh, security situation is uh, not encouraging. Economy under stress, no signs of any uh, considerable economic growth in coming years, coming months. Inflation on the rise, food prices on the rise. And uh, PM Abi's government is obviously focusing on tightening the control of the government. Uh, we saw inauguration of prosperity parties at quarter yesterday. 895 million Ethiopian birds were spent on the construction of PP headquarters. Uh, some viewers say, Sajid, you uh, are in search of uh, any opportunity which you can find to criticize Ethiopian government of PMRB. When 10 to 15 million people of your country are expected to be hit by a food crisis, what should be your priority? Construction of uh, PP uh, uh, party headquarters or provision of food to these people? What's happening in, in Kenya? I covered uh, their election campaign two days ago in a video. William Ruto and Raila Odinga, backed by uh, Huro Kenyatta, they are using state resources. It has been reported the country is focused on August election. In Somalia, tug of war between Farmajo and uh, Roble. For months, we are seeing this tug of war. What I'm saying is that entire political elite of this region, Horn of Africa, they must come together to handle this upcoming crisis. You are being warned by international aid agencies. Now it's up to you to prepare in advance. Otherwise, people will suffer. Now it was Russia-Ukraine conflict. Firstly, tit for tat, Russia is now announcing countermeasures. We know that uh, Russia has been put under strict sanctions from uh, the US, from the EU. Airspace close to Russian flights, Russian banks sanctioned, Russian billionaires sanctioned, Roman Abramovich, uh, Chelsea frozen. Now Russia is hitting back. Russia has uh, confiscated, I would say, uh, uh, Russia has signed a law to nationalize uh, hundreds of aircrafts which are owned by Western companies. Hundreds of these uh, Western uh, owned aircrafts are in Russia. Uh, I think they are on lease in Russia. Uh, Russia has decided to nationalize these around 500 aircrafts and their worth is around 10 billion US dollars. So if uh, uh, West and the US are trying to freeze Russian assets, Russia is hitting back. Russia will use these aircrafts for uh, flights in the country, in Russia and into neighboring countries, to friendly countries as well. Secondly, viewers, uh, Russian drones have breached NATO airspace. It has been confirmed that uh, Russian drone four post entered Poland, Poland's airspace a few hours ago. This drone is basically a reconnaissance drone, not a combat drone. It was flying over Western Ukraine and from Western Ukraine reportedly it entered uh, Poland's airspace. 
then it came back into Ukrainian airspace where it was shot down by the Ukrainian air defense system. Uh, we heard reports about some Russian drones entering Romania's airspace as well a few hours ago. A Russian Orlon 10 drone was seen uh, hovering over Romania. So we are seeing Russian drones uh, entering NATO's airspace. Why? Russia is trying to monitor the movement of uh, shipments, arms shipments, fighters from neighboring countries into Ukraine. So its drones are in the air over border areas, mostly reconnaissance drones. They are not conducting any airstrikes. They just they're just monitoring what's happening on the ground. But NATO is seeing it as a provocation that Russia is trying to escalate tensions with NATO. Lastly, viewers, uh, we know that uh, Russia is requesting financial military assistance from China. Uh, it was reported by some U.S. officials. After that, we saw meetings in Rome between U.S. and Chinese officials. U.S. EU, they're trying to stop China from backing Russia. They say it could lead to Third World War. What's happening now? How is China responding? Today, reportedly, U.S. told its allies, unofficially, no official statement, U.S. told its allies, Western countries, that China has agreed to provide military assistance to Russia. Now, it has not been officially confirmed so far. No assistance has been provided by China to Russia. But in principle, uh, U.S. says that in principle, China has agreed. I think we need to wait a little. Uh, it's just a claim from US. Uh, will China actively back Russia or not? That remains to be seen.